Hello and welcome to another episode of Aggie Now, your source for all things Aggie. My name is Miguel. I'm Riley. I'm Alice. And I'm Nika. So last Thursday was actually a really exciting day for us. It was the very first day that the UC Fair Wage program came into effect. And what that includes is that it basically will cause an exponential increase every year until the minimum wage for UC employees reaches $15 uh, per hour. It also applies to only students or employees who work at least 20 hours per week. That's actually something really interesting because that causes the minimum wage to be higher than the state's minimum wage, which is actually $9 an hour. So what do you guys think? How does that affect the rest of us, you know, students and employees alike? Students are some of the hardest working employees we have on campus here, and we definitely need that extra money for, you know, textbooks, guacamole on your burritos, really important things like that. So, you know, while there is some unfairness with the 20 hours a week, we're definitely on the right track to getting students the funds that they need to be able to support themselves in school. This week has been a big one for Type A students. Beginning on Monday, there was a week-long giveaway of 20,000 free academic planners that ASUCD won from Passion Planners College Showdown. So do you guys, did you guys line up? Was it worth it? Yeah, actually, well, <laughs> yeah, I actually lined up and I have my own Passion Planner. And I actually think, you know, what was really cool about this is Passion Planners were made with college students in mind. So Angelia Trinidad started it through a Kickstarter um, that was funded and last year 2015 she sold 80,000 passion planner copies wow. which is amazing so for some of that to even come to UC Davis campus like I think that's really cool and I think that students really enjoy you know having like a physical planner like this that's focused on anxiety and ambition there was a huge demand and the line stretched all the way to Shields Library and speaking of Shields Library they are celebrating their 75th anniversary so this cupcake is for you Shields happy 75th so just another ASUCD update, Senator Anabia Syed just announced her resignation from Senate just a week following Sahar Priano's departure. Now this would be the third senator to leave within the year, and due to ASUCD's Constitution Count Back Amendment, her opponent of last year, Brendan Chang, will actually take over the vacancy position that she left. So what are your thoughts on this as far as, you know, the process goes? Well, do we know her reason for leaving? Yeah, well, as far as her reason for leaving, it was definitely for, uh, it was more for personal uh, reasons. So I think as a student, she needed to take a step back and make academics her priority, you know, and make herself her priority. Mm -hmm. So I feel as though, you know, we have to think about our setting and our roles, um, whether it's on campus or in other places, in terms of what we can handle. Riley, I heard we had some wins this weekend. Yeah, we had a couple big wins. Our volleyball team, our women's volleyball team, picked up two wins over both UC Riverside and UC Irvine. Woo, Riverside. <laughs> well, we oh. did beat them three to one, as we did with Irvine. Darn. Some, <laughs> some important numbers from the Riverside game. Our freshman libero, Malia Bolko, had 25 digs. And our senior, Kaylin Squires, had 24 kills and 13 digs in the match. So some great numbers from those ladies. Their next game is tomorrow at 7 p.m. against Cal State Fullerton. So that's at 7. Does anyone know what's at 4? What's at 4? Our <laughs> football homecoming game Woo! against uh -huh. Northern Arizona. <laughs> As some of you may know, it is ASUCD's 100th anniversary, so we will be honoring them during the game. Will you be there? Yes. <laughs> For those of you who I've basically said that I'm coming to these sports games, I will be there at homecoming. Riley's twin will actually be there with me, so yes, if you see us... she will be dragging you to yeah. that game. <laughs> so if you see us, this will actually be my first UC Davis homecoming game. Say hello. And just a quick announcement, LMS auditions will be starting next week on October 13th, 15th, and the 19th. So please showcase your musical talent. If you can't make it, don't worry about it. Please send me an email with your video at ntmagahis at ucdavis.edu. This has been an episode of Aggie Now, and I'm Nika Magahis. I'm Alice Shea. I'm Riley Applewhite. And I'm Miguel Bagsit. Thank you for watching. Thanks again for watching this episode. Please subscribe so you can catch all of our Aggie Studios videos. I'm Riley Applewhite for all things sports. <laughs>